Hello and uh, welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp.us, SketchUp for us. Uh, today we'll uh, talk about the last part of uh, building a vintage camera in uh, 3D. We have used uh, photo reference, photo match option basically. Uh, today we'll talk about the small animation which I made and also about the texture. So for the dynamic components, uh, I just thought would be cool this particular uh, model, which is right now uh, a union uh, with all the material inside. So it's only uh, all the materials together, basically. But um, the following uh, animations they all need. So uh, you can uh, move the view uh, finder from the old camera, uh, we can uh, adjust the shutter speed, uh, the mode for the camera, as you can see those dials, actually they are spinning. The shutter itself, this is how old, old camera is uh, actually working. And uh, of course at the end, it was a film, so you can see what uh, that camera was actually doing. So Anyway, those are the animations. Uh, for each uh, of those parts, basically, I have a model and uh, let's take this one. Uh, the element itself had the function animate and it was either a rotation, either a, a transla translation of movement on uh, different axes. Um, how I put uh, the material? Well, I just follow the standard uh, way of doing uh, the, of applying the material to different uh, objects. Basically, you open the material tool that can be found on window materials, and I have create uh, a new material uh, that could be easily done by copy one of the existing. You just click on duplicate. Uh, let's make a duplicate for this one. So uh, after you duplicate the material, you just double click on it and you can take a texture, you can load it. And from your uh, computer, you can add a texture. So let's uh, take one just for fun. And it's gonna create uh, a texture material. You can uh, play with uh, the settings, the width, the height. Highly recommended to have relatively good uh, resolution on the pictures if you want to have high details. In this particular case, as you can see, I uh, have an old camera, a Compur type, it's a German camera basically. They actually built in Dresden, Germany, and they put also the the plate uh, information which actually the camera is having. So uh, after you set up your uh, material, you need to adjust it. Uh, how you do that, you just select your uh, component where you want to place it, double click on it, and you can take it and uh, just put it here. Uh, if you click on the right, right click, uh, you can uh, edit the texture. Here is an example. Uh, it's gonna open the picture, or you can uh, just uh, make other adjustments uh, from the material itself. From the material itself. Uh, so here is an example. If I have this texture, you can uh, position or you can reset it. You can edit the image so for position is going to open the, the whole uh, positioning tool you have the grips uh, usually this uh, red is fixed and uh, the other one are just uh, getting adjusted if on the planes or as a size you can uh, adjust the size and overall you can adjust it or rotate it or whatever you like so anyway, uh, 
play with those ones. Heat it uh, as needed, and after that, you get your material. If you want to apply a material, again, you select that face, and for instance, we can just apply this one here. And the material is placed, and again, you're gonna take it and you're gonna adjust it. Uh, you click right click, texture, and again, you're gonna adjust position and so on. So here is how uh, basically you you assign uh, materials to the to different components. Uh, for the big ones, uh, you can just have one like this, and you take the material. You can uh, you can do it in the same way. But it's gonna place the same uh, map to the entire uh, component which uh, you have selected. So uh, feel free to explore it. Uh, it's not really complicated uh, placing the material, it's relatively easy. Uh, those could be found here, that's the symbol for placing the material. Many times it's coming like this, don't be confused, this is for different colors. All the materials are at the end. And you can scroll here, you can have 3D printing materials, Apple materials, and different kinds, you know, like asphalt concrete, fabrics, uh, colors, metal, glass, and so on. So, uh, in order to have a nice and realistic uh, model, feel free to explore the materials which you got and apply it accordingly to what uh, you need in, uh, in your model. So, hope you like it, uh, hope it's useful, good to know for sure and uh, go ahead and start modeling. Enjoy the tutorial for applying materials and also just uh, another thing, even this one can move. If you want to do a material on curved faces, you have to have that texture projected. So that's uh, a tip at the end of the presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Feel free to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. If you have any questions, let us know. We can show you how we build it.